Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO World Middleweight Championship, December 19th at the Manchester Arena. Tickets on sale now at frankwarren.com. Or to watch on TV, subscribe at boxnation.com. Coogan Cassius Rife on TV in association with Macklin Jim Marbell with the final press conference for Lee vs Saunders yeah. with me. Yep, go on, carry on, Coogan. What you got? Yeah, go on, carry Eat. on, just trying to glove them. I'm not going to hit you or anything. Go on. Um, you should give one of them away. I'll give them all away. Who wants them? Come and get them. Yeah? Right now, yeah. Radisson, come and get them. Give them to you. How are you? No, I'm good, Coog. Good, good, good. Um, Spoke to you in Marbell two weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, we had a long conversation there. Done very well, that interview, actually. Yeah, I mean, um, it's all done. It's, what do you mean it done very well? Like with the it's always as well, me on that Kogan, you know that? 50, 50 odd thousand? Yeah. It's all right. oh, that's good, yeah, that's all good, right. yeah. Uh, now, listen, obviously, you do a good job, Kogan, didn't you? Um, you're around all the boxing, you keep me entertained when I'm in camp, watching your, your, your live films. IFL, sorry. Um, but yeah, all good. I'm all good. Why into fight? Good. Um, what did you make of uh, Eubanks' performance over Spike O'Sullivan? Uh, and were they right to pull him out, Bill? Listen, I'm not a trainer, I'm not a coach. Obviously, his corner uh, felt the need to pull him out, so they did. Um, you know, it's one of them things. Um, I didn't really catch the full fight. I was watching highlights and little bits of it, but, you know, he, he's, he's there now talking about a unification fight or some shit with Daniel Jacobs, he wants to fight, but... Then he's on about fighting Nick Blackwell for the British title. Let's not fight people. Let's not fight. Let's let's not win that fight. What he's done against Spike, then want to go and fight for the British. You got a big pair of balls, like you say. Get up and go your WBA room and fight Glovkin, like you've been saying you're going to do. I'm sure they're looking for a um, a fight before he fights Canelo because that's going to happen. So I'm sure they'll take that fight. So why not go and take it? Let's not stop talking about it and telling everyone you want to fight and go and fight him. Um, were you disappointed with Spike or? Listen, I wasn't disappointed with Spike. Um, you know, I, I respect everybody who gets in the ring. And Spike at times was having a lot of success, what I see, and catching him some good shots. It's boxing, Coogan, isn't it? Mm. But did you feel like, what from what you saw, that when they did trade, that Spike was in it as much as Eubank when they were trading? Because at the times he did catch Eubank, he did wobble Eubank. Yeah, he it did. Seemed. Yeah. yeah, he did, he did. Um, but let me tell you, on that performance of Eubank, and the shape and and how I'm ready now, physicality. Put a blindfold on me and I'll beat him. Really? Yeah. Big swings and bombs and brr and what's all that about? What what is it about? But obviously the the winner from Jacobs and Quillin, which Jacobs won inside eighty five seconds, uh, Eubank is meant to go and fight him now next year. Yeah, listen. He's meant to go and fight him but he won't. Um, you know, he's he's trying to take that step or he's trying to get revenge on me before he wants to take that step, I don't know. But um, you know, I'm not worried about Eubanks, they're a bunch of idiots. That's all I'm worried about is my fight Saturday night for the WBO world title. Not interim or nothing like that, WBO world title. There were some comments this week about Andy Lee saying that he had operated at a higher level than you, which is a little bit silly because no, he has yeah, he has yeah, yeah. operated at a high level he's fought for world titles yeah. before he's been in with better opposition yeah, than you wouldn't yeah. you agree yeah definitely I agree that he's been in with better opposition than me um, Peter Cullen got stopped in so many seconds the weekend that's, that's one of them um, Karabrov who I was on the amateur circuit at the same time uh, who was beating him and got caught and that's another one but apart from that who I'm another one Chavez Vera yeah, not a problem with Chavez. I'll give him Chavez, definitely. But um, Sergio Martinez type of fight, I beat him. I only said he's been in with them. I wasn't, you know... No, no, I know, no. no. I said he's been Listen, in with them. Listen, he has. He has. Listen, the best... Who have I been in with the best? Probably... Uh, who have I been in with? Who's the best? I don't know. I just beat who's in front of me. Google. Is Eubank the best person you fought? Eubank the best... Nah. No, What's no. the hardest fight you've had? The hardest fight I've had. Uh, looking in on it, probably looking in it performance-wise and everything. Probably Ryder, yeah. Probably maybe Ryder, yeah. 
maybe Ryder. Was Ryder and Blackwell harder fights than Eubank? Be honest, don't just say it because, you know. Do you know what? I cannot remember too much. Listen, Ryder was a tough, tough cookie. South Oregon. Yeah, T Ryder was a tough cookie, but let me tell you the reason why that was Coogan. I had the purse bids, Eddie Earn won the purse bids, and Eddie Earn messed up somewhere. Yeah? So I was already in training for eight weeks for Ryder. Then all of a sudden, Frank Warren won the purse bids, and he calls me and says, You're fighting now in, in eight weeks, you're fighting Gary O'Sullivan. So that's 16 weeks. I had the 16 weeks training, I had a week out and went in for another eight weeks training for John Ryder. So work how many weeks that was out training, it was too much. I was a little bit flat that night. That was the only chance that night someone had to beat me on my performance wise. That was the only chance, no disrespect to John Ryder, that, that was the only chance he will ever have to beat me, or anybody will have to beat me on that night because I was flat as a pancake in, what do you call it, frying pan. <laughs> Seriously, I was. That's a good analogy. Um, some people say that, obviously, since your fight with you, then that suggests that he has got better, he's had more experience. Uh, he's got better or he's boxed lesser opposition than me. Let's not get it wrong. Has he got better, in, what, with one fight in February, then boxed um, Jetta? Has he got better? Yes, he's going to look a lot better fighting Jetters. Let me fight Jetters and I'll look a million times better. Cost you up. He boxed Spike. Spike's a good friend of mine, a big Spike in 2013. He just beat him now. You know what I mean? Let's not box people who I've boxed years ago. Get in there with amongst the best now, like I'm doing, and see if you are good enough. Let's not hide brand the names. Let's see if you're good enough. He stepped in one good man, that was me, and got beat. And people said it was close, it was this. I won it clearly by four rounds. Clearly. So I'm the only man that he stepped in the ring with what can fight, what literally had a pulse, and he got beat. How's this fight gone down three days away from, well, three days away amongst the traveller community? I don't know, you know, I've been having a lot of phone calls, but I know it's big, but I've been away, ain't I? So oh, yeah, I've been sure. kept away from it. I've been a few of the campsites. Yeah, 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 yeah. You worked for a few of them, didn't you? Yeah. Um, you worked for a few of them. You so a I've been to a few. I, I, didn't, I didn't go to uh, Hatfield. Uh, I didn't go to Hatfield. Uh, he's, uh, you've got Jimmy now, look, he's just the little one, it's all right, la, 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 la. then he sat down again laughing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be yeah. good, it's, it's good. Um, but I think most people think that Andy Lee's going to smash you up. Yeah, most people will. But, but no, I'm being serious. Most, most travelling people I spoke to think that Andy Lee's going to No, win. yeah, 100%. They might yeah. do. But listen, let me tell you. Tell them to put their money on it. Let them put their money on it. Definitely. There's a few in your corner. There's Billy Ray. Billy Ray, yeah. My dad. <laughs> <laughs> your <laughs> my brother. Mom, yeah, my mum, <laughs> my brother. Listen, let me tell you. People's entitled to their opinions. Of course. A lot of people thought Tyson was going to get beat. Of course. A lot of people thought he was going to get knocked out cold. A lot of travelling people. A lot of travelling people don't like to see other people doing well in their culture like me. But listen, we'll see Saturday night. The talking's all done now. Everything's all over. The fighting's got to be done now, so we'll see. OK. Um, just want to mention, did you see we were mentioned, or IFL was mentioned, you were mentioned on Channel 5 by on the Right Stuff show by a, a former Olympian called Louise Hazel who accused the IFL of setting boxes up. What, um, what year did she go to the Olympics? I don't know. Um, setting boxes up, in what way? What do you mean setting them well, up? She thinks that basically, I'm assuming, that I point the camera in your face and say things to you that may make you swear and... Just looking at you want to make me swear, Cogan. So is that really my fault? But would you say is that, would you say that, I set you up for these things, or would you say that I just give you listen, a platform listen, listen, to let's talk get serious. and listen, there's air no your views. Uh, listen, you provide um, you provide a system where everyone can watch boxing. You provide that sort of uh, that sort of work. So no, you're going to get people swearing when you've got the likes of me on there. People mention. But I'm just giving you a chance to no, say what you, you say. You, you, you but over the years, yeah. how, how much stuff have I, for your own benefit, and it is for your own benefit, have I stopped from going on? You stopped a lot, yeah. And I don't think that she should have her... Well, she's entitled to her opinion, but I don't reckon she should really put your your company, IFL, on, on that... Give it that sort of uh, press, no. bad press, because yeah. it ain't you, it's the boxers. You're only asking the questions. If I get asked a question, I answer from the heart. If she don't want to watch it or no one don't want to watch it, you, you put entirely bad language or what, don't watch it. Yeah. Then you don't have to hear it. 
don't watch it and complain. Don't do that. All because of Tyson Fury's beat Vladimir Klitschko, everyone's getting upset. Why? Because he's a traveller. Suck his cock. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, those people would be double upset if... Don't give a shit. Mm. They can be what they want. I'm not doing it for them. They can look and keep putting on white stuff or whatever it's called. And What's her name? Louise Hagel. She can complain all she wants. She can... I don't give a shit what she says. I put out or say what I want to say. Are you telling me to say that? No. Why don't... I can get her a gypsy boyfriend if she wants. Do you know what I mean? I can get her a gypsy boyfriend and you might get her pregnant. She might have a little gypsy running up and down. No problem, I can do that. She can complain about that if she wants. All right, Billy Joe Saunders. I'm a little bit of blame for this, I don't know. Billy Joe Saunders, <laughs> thanks for talking to uh, IFL TV. And uh, best of luck before Jimmy hits me around the Amigo head. Amigo Camado. Uh -huh. I'm not telling you what that means. All right. Boom, boom. Right, Thank ready. you very much. Thank Cheers you. Bill. Cheers, mate. Big Shut up. up. Uh, hold on. Rax. Big up, Rax. Big up, Rax. George, can you not give him a coat? Rax. Yeah, give me all the kit me out. Rax. Coogan's Rax. Big up, Rax. Rax, yeah. What's you your box nation What you interview? should do is hashtag this interview, whatever you're going to name it, Big up, Rax. Big I up, bet they'll get you a free coat. Big up, Rax. Big up, Rax. Where are they based, by the way? Big up, West One as well. Yeah. Rain and Steel. And also Lantern Recovery. Okay. Very good. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, look, not forget. This. What I've had for ages, I always wear them. Name's next step. Name's next step. Yep, absolutely. Big guy. Cool, good. Like, so Thanks a lot, Billy Joe Saunders. Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders, the WBO World Middleweight Championship, December 19th at the Manchester Arena. Tickets on sale now at frankwarren.com. Or to watch on TV, subscribe at boxnation.com.